Talia Barak is with us here at the John Mandola Show. We're going for the record here on interviews, right? <laughs> all right, senior year, you're catching, you're tough, you're all those things. Talk a little bit about uh, Karen Sickle this year and how you feel like she's doing and that bond for four years that you guys have had. Well, I've been catching for her for as long as I can remember, since I was nine years old. So our connection just keeps getting stronger and stronger as every year goes by. And she's been amazing this year, like 900 strikeouts. Like she's been un almost untouchable. And I'm just glad that I get to help her behind the plate. You gotta go your separate ways here after high school, right? <laughs> Let's talk about you know your decision, what you're going to do for your future. I'm going to play softball at Wilkes, and I'm so excited to just keep playing another four years of softball. I love it so much. And program doing well this year at Wilkes, yeah. local girls, so yeah. a lot to be excited about. How about an area of study for you? Um, I'm planning on pursuing education. Awesome. Well, that's great. Let's talk about your experience overall at Old Forge, what it's, what it's been like to be a student athlete there. I, I love Old Forge. I, I think it's the greatest town in the whole world, and it's just such a small, close-knit community, and everybody loves each other, everyone supports each other, and just getting to play Old Forge basketball and softball and just be involved in student athletics has just been the best for me. The night games at the park, I mean, it's, it's special. Talk about those memories. Well, playing at night at the park is just some of the best memories I've ever had, like playing under the lights, all of my classmates being there to support me. It's just amazing, and I love being on a winning team. That family of yours, uh, you know, they're pretty darn uh, supportive as well. Tell us a little bit about, you know, them kind of rooting you on all the time. Yeah, well, my both my parents never miss a game, and they're always there cheering me on. Even when we're hours away, I just appreciate it so much. One of your teammates talked about the infield. Tell us about who those outfielders are and how they're doing this year. Our outfield has been really solid. We have Kate O'Hearn in right field, Ariana David in center, and Juliet Stefano in left, and really no balls drop on us. I feel like we've been really solid, and our arms out there are amazing. What are things you think you'll miss about Coach Ravello you know, as you move on? Is it, uh, you know, he's just a character at times. You know, he can be calm, cool, that she get after you. Well, what's not to miss about him? Like, I think he's the best coach I've ever had in my life. And he's just, I love his attitude. He's so upbringing. And also he can be intense too, because we could be fooling around for one second. And then next he's saying like, come on, Talia, like, let's go. <laughs> and I just love that I can have both personalities with him, like intense and also like, playful and having fun you know there's a lot i'm sure the sophomores have learned from somebody like yourself what what was a thing or two you tried to say hey do this and you'll have you'll have a good career here well i try to just tell them especially hitting wise like softball is very mental and it's hard it's easy to get in your head and just like my approach when i go up to that is just no thoughts like just see the ball hit the ball and just swing and feel no pressure and i always try to tell them like just don't stress yourself out before you even get up there like take it pitch by pitch well great to catch up with you one more time great we to wish. see you too yeah we hope you have a great run here in the playoffs thank you